And if I can have the captain stay. I can call upon uh, West Kelowna Mayor Mr. Doug Findlater to come to center ice for the ceremonial puck drop. Mr. Mayor. Stand on guard for thee, O Canada. We stand on guard for thee. In the middle by Keynes. Keynes across, walking in as Vlalic. All the way behind the net, bats and he scores. Red Bull Salzburg on the board first. It's one nothing. On the sideboards. Now the puck comes high slot, Egger, wrist shot, close save Williams as he flashes the leather. And Red Bull Salzburg all over the Warriors here right now. In the corner, drops it back again. Here's Balich, high slot, wait, scores! What a pretty shot. Tyler Hope intercepts, high slot, wrist shot, Peters with the save and you hold on. Can't get the pass out there. Now Hope leaves it for Vertigliano, wine, fire stop by Peters. Inside, long shot in, Williams saves, bobbles it, couldn't find it, and then able to hold on. I'm not saying it's the Monday factor, but it's just a combination of a lot of things. Quick goal, they score. Vokter on the far side after a rebound. The left wing here, Basilico, through the middle. Glove down, Sodergren. Connor Sodergren in, short side, stopped by Peters. And the puck bounces. Of Baltram takes a whack at him. DBN back in, stick handles through. DBN wide, wrist shot, stopped by Peters. Palmquist in on a breakaway. Palmquist, forehand, stopped by Williams, and he clears it away to the corner. The cross, high slot, tripped, shot stopped by Williams. And a penalty coming to West Kelowna. Another shot stopped by Williams. Here's Liam Blackburn in on a break. Blackburn in, chasing him as Keynes. Blackburn taken down, and he gets a penalty shot out of it. No goal. The light came on as the puck went in, but... Uh, that could have been a goal there. I don't think the ref was really thinking about if it went in or not. He was more worried about calling the penalty shot on that. It's just tough to say at that point. Here's Liam Blackburn, brings it in. He's the left, way, left side shot. Cuts into the middle, Blackburn in, backhander tried to slide it through the legs, but Peters shuts the door. The Warriors can't get on the board. Postle over the line, over to the far side, stick handles in, Kittinger over, what a goal! Boltram oh will score it, but gosh. that one was beautiful. Drops it for Vapis. Vapis hit by Kyle Marino on the sideboards now as Keynes gets it back. Down low to Vapis. Vapis gets it at the circle, down low again, passing the puck around. Up to the top, one-timer, Lindner shot, he's off the post, rebound, they score! Egger gets it, keeps it from going for icing, but now Jared Marino just missed Postel in the middle of the ice. Jared Marino coming back, knocks Feldner down, and the Warriors bench getting energized there. Ahead for Sodergren, Connor Sodergren in, wide, wrist shot, scores! Connor Sodergren gets West Kelowna on the board, it's 5-1. You know what, I think he used that defenseman as a little bit of a screen, which uh, helped him out on that shot, but what a shot. That is very pretty. Hopefully that just revs up the team and we come right at him now. And that goal stems straight from Jared Marino laying the body on Feldner coming back into his zone. They're going again, Basilico on the left side, floated in, Basilico cuts in, backhander, oh, he hit the post, pass out from Wachner. Vokter in with Baltram. Vokter shot, Baltram rebound, scores, and that's just a perfectly executed play by Red Bull Salzburg, and it's 6-1. Uh, three continue to put up the points here tonight over the line. Here's Valic to Keynes, shot, he scores. That was just a quick one off the faceoff, and that's an unbelievable turn. Five seconds apart, that is unbelievable. Frost, as we've seen so many times this year, well broken up. And now Egger will come back. Here's Egger in the middle. Baltram, Jakubitska, Egger to Jakubitska. Over, shot, Wachter scores. Wachter on the power play, and that was five passes in four and a half seconds to Matejovic. Here's Gunville with Basilico. Two on one, Basilico in, wrist shot, scores! What a nice shot. Ryan Basilico, his first in a Warrior uniform, but you won't see it on the stat sheet. Still a nice goal from the 20-year-old, and the Warriors make it 8-2. to two. You know, that's both goals went high on this goalie. He seems to go down pretty quick, and both times the Warriors scored, they went high. 
you know, hopefully the coaching staff is reading into that and telling his boys, you know what? Gotta go high, gotta go high, gotta go high. We don't need to put the pretty goals in. Here to Harrison, winds, fires it, it rolled outside the goal. Here's in front, Shotty oh, scores! Nice. What a beautiful play by Basilico, right onto Marino's stick. That was a pretty play. Jake Harrison misses the net, he'll say on purpose. Not sure entirely if I'm convinced on that, but the Warriors have back-to-back -back goals and have made this one eight to three. The board, I think it's Rotigliano's extra minor, but looks to be, uh, besides of the original call, looks to be even up. Here's Blackburn, in on a breakaway. Liam Blackburn cuts to the net, stick handles, and he scores! What a move from Blackburn, as the Warriors make it eight to four. And a short-handed goal from West Kelowna down four on three. And a great play by Blackburn at the line. You know what, that's the second uh, second breakaway that he's had in the game. The first time he got caught, you know, he had the penalty shot. And uh, this time he wasn't being caught. And he, uh, he definitely wasn't gonna take a chance of going back to the center ice for the penalty shot. He was putting it in that net. And, and again, it just wasn't exactly what they were looking for. Here's a shot at the side, oh. Foreman scores! This game is on now. It's 8-5 with 9.50 remaining. Wow, wow, wow. I might be eating my words by the end of tonight. 8-5, to five. and you know what? The, the Red Bull team is definitely back on their heels. The Warriors are coming straight at them. Goes ahead, DBN has it poked through his feet. Anderson sends it across. Vokter got his skate in the lane. Now Anderson all the way around behind, drops it down low. Hope. Quick pass across off a stick. Blumenshine has it on the sideboards. Gets past his man, Chapon. Now DBN down low. Tries to cycle it back. Poked free by Kyler Hope. Hope up near the top. Pass across. Anderson. Shiny oh. scores! <laughs> Tyler Anderson. It's 8 6 now. You know, I was just going to say, ever since Tyler Anderson scored his empty net goal, you know, for his first goal in the BCHL, he just seemed to getting into the jump a little more, playing a little bit more offensive. And I just thought, wow, he's in behind the net. You know, and he gets his chance there, he puts it in the net. Wow, Fun wow. To see and great to see, of course, as an exhibition battle. And it was a battle here tonight at Royal LePage Place as the Warriors and the Red Bull Salzburg went toe to toe. It was an 8-3 lead at one point in this hockey game for Red Bull Salzburg, the Warriors score the last five goals actually uh, in this game. It was actually an 8-1 lead. We forget that part. Joined now by Brian Basilico after an 8-6 loss to Red Bull Salzburg in a game that you know started off it looked like you guys maybe were a little on your heels and a little bit in shock. Uh, was that sort of the feeling on the bench uh, after you saw the speed of this team? Um, yeah we definitely came out flat and uh, I think once we started kind of catching their place and uh, way of uh, way of playing we kind of picked it up and played a bit better. Your physical play was obviously big in the game Kyle Marino with some big hits early on but you saw some pushback from that team did that fire you guys up a little more to try and take the physicality to them? Um, yeah it definitely got us going I think uh, they didn't like our physical play and then once we started bringing that to them they started coughing up pucks and we started playing better. You had a goal and an assist tonight a great play on the, from behind the net to get to Kyle Marino but walk us through that goal there and that shot from the wing. Um, I just the puck chipped out and uh, Gunner gave me a nice pass over and then I just tried to put it on that and uh, luckily it went in. Was it something that you guys had noticed uh, on the earlier goals that uh, hey or that earlier goal for sure that uh, he was going down a little early and you could put it up top? Um, yeah, I mean the, the D I, I know they were uh, kind of slow getting back so I knew if I could blow by them then I'd just get a shot up high then uh, hopefully it went in. Five straight goals for your team to come back within two goals. Uh, again, it would have been nice to, to get the tie or get it to overtime at least. But again, just talk about the experience to play a team like that in a, in a game here tonight. Um, it's always fun playing a team from overseas. I mean, it's a different style of play, and you learn new things when you're playing hockey against guys like these. And uh, just learning once we got our pace going against them, I think we played a bit better in the third. Thanks, Brian. Thank you. Shea, an 8-6 loss tonight to Red Bull Salzburg. And again, uh, your team just a bit on their heels in the first period. I think the speed and the skill factor I, maybe wowed you guys a little bit. Yeah, they, that team over there, they're a real good team. They have a lot of skill. Uh, they moved the puck real well, and I think that wasn't really what we were expecting early on in the game. They moved the puck uh, very different than what we're used to. A lot of plays more towards the middle of the ice than, than up and down the walls, and, and they caught us early in the game like that. 
they score three power play goals in that hockey game and jump out and into that uh, situation where they're up 8-1 at one point. Again, it was just one of those things that, uh, at what point do you think the switch flipped for your hockey club to try and come back in this one? I don't know if it was so much as a switch flip. I think we started making some better adjustments and, and started started playing a little better, obviously, playing a little harder. You know, it's, it was a tough turnaround, I think, that three games and four nights for us and something that we're really not used to. So, But, uh, you know, I don't know if the flip switched. I think we just started executing a little bit more, um, you know, made a couple better plays with the pucks there and had a little more success that way. Was the back and forth physicality a bit of a surprise tonight? Uh, we weren't quite sure what we were going to see. And after you guys start laying some big checks, they really pushed back, I thought, in the game. Yeah, I thought it turned into a pretty good hockey game towards the end there, pretty feisty. And, and you know what? Our guys didn't want to get pushed around in our own building, and they didn't want to come here and get pushed around either. And I think that made for an entertaining game at the end. Thanks, Shay. We'll talk Friday. Thanks, Kyle. Right now by J.D. Forrest after an 8-6 win for your hockey club here tonight, and uh, you seem to come out and skate circles around the Warriors in the first period. Uh, was that maybe just the element of surprise, do you think, in the start of this hockey game? That could have had something to do with it. I mean, I, both teams didn't really kind of know what to expect. Our guys came out on fire and, and made some really good plays and did some nice things, and then after a little bit we kind of got away from what was working and then the result was a, a tight game at the end so entertaining for the fans I guess but not so you, much for me. You talk about the excitement uh, or and not knowing uh, again the physical play started real early in this game I thought you guys pushed back really well how'd you feel on the physical side of things tonight? Uh, I, I was fine with it I mean it, it's it's great for our kids just to have that kind of hockey in their face and once they get up and and it's nice to have a team that just doesn't roll over and that was one of the things a lot of the it's a little bit different in Europe. Sometimes we get up on a team like that, and it's game over. But out here, it's never game over. So it was it was good. Your power play goes three for ten on the night. Uh, I thought they were good real early, three for six, and then zero for four to finish it. Uh, but again, have you ever seen a penalty kill when the opposing team puts a forward at the far blue line, and you guys you guys just decided, hey, we're going to ignore this. We're going to take our five on three. Yeah, it was uh, that was new, and I actually I kind of like it. I mean, why not at the at the time of the game and with the score and all that and. If maybe if we did a little better job holding on to the puck and just finding a better seam, it wouldn't have really mattered. But uh, yeah, that was that was interesting. I like it. It's a nice wrinkle. Penticton on Wednesday night again. They'll have the maybe advantage of seeing some video of tonight's game and be able to prepare for you. What do you guys have to do? Do you think to prepare for what is the top team in the BC Hockey League? Oh, that it's going to be tough. I don't know if there's you know with us, it's taking a look at the video and seeing what we did well. To be successful and then seeing what happened the second half of the game there and it's almost a, a blessing in disguise there to get to get come back on like that because now we have some things to really uh, point out in video and, and it didn't make it easy for us and and that's good jd thank you so much for this thank you for coming and playing this game and uh, good My luck pleasure. the rest of the way yeah thank you Join now post game after a 8 6 Red Bull Salzburg victory, joined by Florian Baltram. And Florian, two goals tonight. Again, uh, early on in this game, how did, you, how did your team feel uh, coming in against this BC Hockey League team? I knew it, it's a tough team to play against, so we tried to keep up the pace and like, play our game with speed and get backs to the net. And I thought we did it pretty good in the first, first two periods, and then we got kind of sloppy and they got their game going and so I think it was at the end a tight game and but still a good game high scoring and so I think it was fun for the fans. Talk about the fans I, you know obviously they were loud I thought for both teams in the introductions and they enjoyed the the game throughout and I you know there's a lot of people here it was 8-1 at one point and they said they were still thoroughly entertained by the game. Yeah it's great to have such a support from the fans like I think every team wants uh, like fans like here and so it's good for the team that's why I, I think they fought back and got back in the game and had good chances to even tie it up. Just a question about the puck movement. We saw some crazy movement from you guys, especially Vok there up front with, with yourself as well and Egger. And uh, again, is that just something you guys you guys work on a lot or is it just sort of the European style is to make sure the passes are, are quick and crisp and everything happens? I think like Europeans, we're skilled, but we're not that physical. So we try to play our game fast, um, quick back movement and just trying to be a little bit fancy. And maybe we sh should have shot it more often to get some more goals, but it's how we play. 
And last question, how did you feel about the physicality in this game? Obviously, West Kelowna came out with some big physical play early, and I thought you guys responded well. Is that was, was the feeling on the bench as well? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> like, they were big, and they made it tough on us. And, like, they for sure, like, more physical than us, and we are not used to it, and that's what it made tough on us. Um, but it was still a good game, and we tried to respond as good as we could. Florian, again, congratulations on your two-goal night. Congratulations on the win, and good luck the rest of the way. Thank you.